Tita's and Tita's. Jared and Conde here, here watching Tita Fit. And in this channel, we talk about health, we talk about fitness, and we give you free tips to live your best life. So if you're into that, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like because it is going to help us with the algorithm. So today, um, I went back to Pretty Huge Obstacles. So we already have a video where I, I went there. And today I actually tried some of the some of the obstacles they had and joined um, an OCR um, session. So uh, thankfully it was just me and Tito Austin. So uh, it was interesting, you know. Uh, it's very important that you get to express your fitness in different ways. Um, you know, uh, as much as possible. We I know a lot of us just love working out just because of the, the, the actual benefits, the health benefits of working out. But you know, there are a lot of fitness benefits to working out and every now and then it might also be a very good idea to try different things in uh, whether it be sports, whether it be activities like hiking, like cycling, like um, different forms of exercise that your, your body might not be familiar to. It's always good for your body to be able to explore these certain things for you to find out, you know. It's not good to like knock on certain types of fitness. Now, of course, uh, strength training is the main type of fitness that we do uh, encourage you to participate in and to do regularly. So today, we went, we, we went with obstacle course racing and uh, so people come to pretty huge obstacles to help them prepare for these obstacle course races like Spartan, Tough Mudder, and that type. So actually today, uh, the Philippine team was training there earlier and you will see that in some of the shots. So it's very interesting. Uh, shout out to Coach Ed Silvenko for help, for letting us train there and uh, very welcoming us with very open arms. And also shout out to Coach Iris who uh, coached us for today's session. Uh, very, very strong woman indeed, as you will see in some of the shots. Uh, sometimes well, we get caught up in how the body looks, with how muscle looks, when the truth of the matter is, uh, how a body looks is, is not necessarily uh, equate with how the body does perform. A uh, guy could have really, really big muscles, but when faced with something that's more functional, in this case, like obstacle course racing, traversing monkey bars, traversing the rings, and things like that, they'd have a hard time simply because they're not accustomed to moving and training that way. Now, given their muscular strength will give them a little bit of an advantage as compared to an abject beginner who is not um, trained in strength. Now, the strength benefits will definitely be on tap for, for the strength trained athlete if they choose to do something like this. Uh, grip strength, the shoulder stability, things like that. Uh, especially if a person is able to do pull-ups, knockout pull-ups, you know, that already gives them a bit of an advantage. Lat strength, so the muscles here in the back or in Tagalog na Tagalog, right. So we started off with a warm-up. In the warm-up, they had this go five rounds around the oval, the track oval. I'm not so sure how long that oval is, but I, the five rounds took me four minutes. And typically when I was running outside, a four-minute run generally speaking would be about 800 meters so about an 800 meter run there and uh, yeah took about four minutes after that uh, she went she took us through what she called the ABCD ABCD animal warm-up that's what she called it so it started with the ape and then the bear and then the crab not crabs just crab okay <laughs> and uh, finally the duck uh, She's kind enough to not let us go through doing the duck anymore. I think na awa na siya sa amin. Uh, with, with the exception of letter A or the A, I've, I've done all of those to some, to a certain capacity. We do some of those warm ups in CrossFit. So the crab is the crab walk, the bear is the bear crawl, and the B is the duck walk. We, we've done all of those. Now the ape was, was new to me. Uh, it was nice lateral movement uh, in a squatting, in a semi squatted position, and then using your hands to sweep and prop you up. So it's cool. Uh, she explained that this was good for to prepare you for mobility. In my opinion, it also prepared you for stability. A lot of, sh especially that uh, crab walk uh, for shoulder stability. After that, we proceeded to do a, a more general warm up. Now this was very, very much up our alley. It was a 30 second dead hang. 
Uh, at first, I tried to have us do it in those wooden pegs, but uh, my fingers weren't as strong. So I, I haven't done any like wall climbing of that sort. So next, she had this transfer to a bar, which was much doable. 30 second dead hang there, followed by 10 push-ups and then 15 goblet squats. Uh, this is pretty much CrossFit territory, so this was this was uh, relatively easy for us. This was three rounds of that. Then after that, she took us through the more um, specific obstacles. Now, uh, so the obstacles, the first one she had us do was go over the wall and then shoot through those holes, those squares, and then get over a taller wall. Not sure what she called that. I just remember an over and under. Uh, an over and under, and I don't remember what the others were called. After that, we had to go and do the, um, the I think that was the monkey bars next. Or no, no, no. It was the wall. It was that inclined wall where you grab onto the rope and then come down. In my opinion, coming down was much harder than going up. Uh, she tried to ask us to like try to not grab the rope, but I don't know. Once I saw the rope and it was within reach, I think my my my, my hands just went automatic and grabbed the rope and uh, went there the easiest way I thought of. Uh, actually, coming down, mejo na kalula, sya kasi yung steps mejo matarik sya tapos uh, butas butas. So if you look down, you realize mo matas pala sya. Uh, after that, that's when we went to the monkey bars and the monkey bars. I think I, I was expecting to do better on the monkey bars, but, 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 I'm not used to not doing this with chalk. Okay, I know that's an excuse, but, and the bars were pretty thick. I have, I, I, my hands aren't that big, so as you can see, my fingers aren't that long, so I had a hard time wrapping my fingers around that really thick bars, like this, this thick. As compared to a pull-up bar at the gym, which is about this thick, so a big difference in width there. Is it width or girth? Girth? Is that the right word? Girth. Like, are you a... Depends on what <laughs> Alright, the girth of the bar. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then after that, we went to the wall. Yeah, we went to a wall first. A couple of different walls where you had to come up and uh, like try to jump over the wall. So the funny thing was that she taught us like when you're over the wall, like or basically when you grab onto the wall, uh, it, it requires quite a, a big amount of hip mobility to like have your foot sweep up and over the wall just to like support your weight so that's the safest way because if you just do it with your arms you're probably not going to be able to support yourself with just your arms for that long a period of time and then so when we got our feet over the wall like make sure that your hands are always in front of you and then before you come down and rotate you're actually going to shift your hands to the opposite direction so you know things like that i'm sure it gets automatic once you're used to this kind of thing but uh, since it was our first time, uh, maybe next time, maybe we'll get the hang of it if we decide to go this route or do a Spartan race or some sort like that. And finally, we did the rings, the traverse on the rings. Uh, there's actually a different technique to it where like before you cross to the other one, you give it the, the ring where you're coming from a little bit of a pull to get your momentum there and then grab it and then back when you grab the other one give it a little bit of a pull and then grab so uh, there were things like that as as you know these are skills that should be practiced and should be perfected so they're not the kind of thing that you get the first time i mean yeah you may be able to get through them the first time but that that hardly equates to mastery of the skill and then finally last the last obstacle was the rope that rope thing where you try to get the tire the tire, tire to the top of the, the beam. I wasn't able to do it, Tito Austin was able to do it. So for once, Tito Austin uh, kicked my ass today, okay, in, in some of these things. My hands are just bitching today, you know. Uh, I don't know. Dibale, doon lang kami sa gym ulit. Okay, sa gym ulit. Huwag niya lang i-edit. Natanggal kasi niya yung mga ano eh. Natanggal kasi niya yung mga failed sets niya sa gym eh. Pagka i-edit na niya eh. Kaya hindi niyo nakita kung gano'n siya kahirap eh. Pag nasa gym ka, nakita niya lang ako yung nag-workout. Diba? Parang chill na chill lang. Huwag niyo si Tito Austin. Kung nakita niya eh.
ba? So, <laughs> abang-abangan yun. Uh, let us know down in the comments below kung gusto nyo pa nakita na hihirapan si Austin. Okay? Like in today's video, nakita niya siya doing a lot of this with me. We were nagsasalit kami with the camera. So, uh, hopefully we see more of Tito Austin. So, comment down below. I want Tito Austin. <laughs> okay? And, hope you liked that video, guys. If you got this far and you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Thank you. So, if you like this video and you'd like to give it a try, don't hesitate. Go to Pretty Huge Obstacles, Boss SM Aura, BGC. Get in touch with them. They're very accommodating. Uh, the coaches, the staff is very accommodating and the rates are very approachable. So you're not gonna regret it. Just give it a shot. <laughs>